today I'm doing a makeup tutorial using the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. This palette is getting so hyped up right now and I jumped on that bandwagon and I have no regrets about it because this palette is gorgeous. It has like warm tone, bronzy, orange shades, and it's got some purple shades in there and it freaking smells like peanut butter. I mean like, what else do you need? I've been using this palette almost every single day and this is my favorite look that I've created with this palette. I wear this look like almost every day when I use this palette. It's just a really fun way to incorporate like a pop of purple in the lower lash line. It's just pretty. I like this look. I love this palette. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So first I'm going to prime my face and I love the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. If you have watched any of my beauty videos, you've probably seen this product. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I really like this foundation. It just blends out really nicely. It's medium coverage, but super buildable. And I love applying it with my Beauty Blender. Like if you apply it with a brush, it's not as good. The Beauty Blender is the way to go. And then for my under eye bags, I'm using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Once again, a favorite product. You've probably seen it a million times in my videos, but I just love it. And then I'm gonna set everything with the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. And this is an oldie but goodie. I've used this for, gosh, I don't even know, like two years now. It's amazing. And then to contour, blush, and highlight my face, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Contour Kit in, I think it's called Coral Glow. I'll have everything linked and list down below in the description box. I'm just gonna take the bronzer and kind of warm up my face and the peachy blush on my cheeks. And then, of course, I gotta add that highlight. And then I've already skipped this step because it's boring, but I filled in my eyebrows and they're looking really crazy. I need a waxing badly. And then I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance in Champagne. I heard that this is discontinued and I'm so sad about it. And now for the star of the show, it's the Peanut Butter Jelly Palette. I'm gonna start off by using the color Spread the Love, and I'm gonna sweep this all over my eyelid. It's like a soft peach color. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And then I'm gonna take Nuts About You, and I'm gonna put this in my crease and up through my transition color, or my transition as my transition color. What am I saying? You guys know what I'm saying. It is such a beautiful transition color though, obsessed. And then I'm gonna take Peanut Brittle, which is my favorite color in the palette, and I'm gonna put this in my outer V, kind of blend it through my crease a little bit. And then going back in with Nuts About You, I'm going to blend everything together, kind of blending my outer V and my crease. And then taking the color Bananas, I'm gonna put this on the center part of my eyelid. It's like a really pretty soft gold glittery shade, so it adds a nice pop to the eyes. And then taking extra creamy, I'm gonna use this as a brow bone highlight. This is a little too stark white for my complexion. I think it looks a little strange as a brow bone highlight, but hey, we're gonna make it work. And then going in with a purple eyeliner, I'm going to line my lower lash line and my inner rim, or whatever that's called. What is that called? Your waterline? I'm not sure. Then taking Jammin, I'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with jelly and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line kind of on the inner corner a little bit and blend it in with jammin. And then time for wing liner. I'm using my Revlon Colorstay, one of my favorites, and I'm just gonna do a wing liner. I just kind of, I don't even know how to explain what I do. I don't know, everyone always asks. I just create a wing. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to explain it. And then going in with the Rimmel Scandalize, I'm going to tight line. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and just load up on to my lashes. And now for lips, I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's the Rimmel The Only One Lipstick in Naughty Nude. It is such a gorgeous nude color and it feels so nice on the lips. So that is everything. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll talk to you very soon in my next one. Bye.